sometimes it is impossible for troops to avoid contact with chemical agents. When, for instance, troops are attacked with gas from an airplane, they must lose no time in adjusting their masks and protective clothing and moving upwind of the dangerous spray. The men must be careful as they go upwind not to brush against vegetation, since chemical liquids will transfer from leaves to clothing. After getting out of the gassed area, the troops are inspected. Here is a mustard stain on the sleeve. Such clothing must be removed at once before the mustard can soak through. Protective ointment is applied to the skin, even if it is not certain that the liquid has penetrated through the clothing. This is done immediately. Never wait for signs of burns. While first aid measures are being taken, men of the decontamination detail spread a mixture of chlorinated lime and earth over the road. The men shuffle their feet in this mixture to neutralize any mustard on their shoes. Later, a stiff brush is used to remove the chlorinated lime and earth, which is injurious to leather if allowed to remain. If the mission is urgent, the unit quickly reforms after applying first aid and moves on, continuing on the upwind side of the contaminated area. At the first chance where time permits and materials are available, the troops must thoroughly clean their clothing and equipment. The detail collects the clothes for airing or decontamination. A bath with plenty of water and soap is the first step. Hot water is preferable, but not essential. This is followed by a change of clothes, if available. If clothing has been lightly contaminated, it should be aired well. When splashed with liquid or otherwise heavily contaminated, clothing should be soaked in soapy water. Cold or lukewarm water should be used, as hot water destroys the protective qualities in the material. After soaking, the clothes should always be rinsed thoroughly. They are then hung out to dry. Decontamination, quickly and properly carried out, will enable our troops to advance with speed and safety. <laughs>